Hello crypto world, Jay Sherm here. Today I'm gonna to give you guys some tips as to which cryptocurrencies I think are best to buy today. As you know, Bitcoin and Ethereum have been exponentially growing. Even Litecoin is doing amazingly well. I mean, just a couple of weeks ago, Ethereum was at like two, three, four hundred dollars. Now it's all of a sudden seven hundred fifty dollars today. You know, everyone's been texting me, Facebooking me, calling me, emailing me, asking me, Jason, which cryptocurrencies do I buy? So let's get started with some of my top picks for today. A rising star is going to be Ripple. Uh, the symbol is XRP. If you go to Bittrex.com and search by clicking on markets and type in XRP, um, it'll pop up there. You click on it and you can see right now it's 44 cents. Just a couple days ago, guys, Ripple was like 20 cents. You could have bought a thousand of them at 20 cents and sold them today for 40 cents and doubled your money. So I'm just telling you, you know, Ripple's a, you know, it's, it's definitely getting out there. And if you do some research, so people always ask like, what is Ripple? Like what exactly? People don't understand. I want to tell you guys before I show you. Cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin, they're not really tied to any platform, so to speak. They are built on a technology called the blockchain, and Ethereum does have smart contracts, but um, coins like Ripple, and we're gonna look at Ripple here, for example, Forbes, Ripple price surge is 84%. Ripple is based on a, a certain kind of technology that allows for uh, payment processing. So if you do some research, like everybody could easily go to Google and type in Ripple, um, it's a payment network. Okay, it tells you right here, Ripple operates as a payment network. So every cryptocurrency that you want to invest in, it has a technology. So if you type in, um, you know, Ripple XRP and look for the actual website for Ripple, you can open that up. Also, I always recommend going to coinmarketcap.com coin market cap shows you the market caps. So we just hit a half a trillion dollars in market cap yesterday. I mean, that's huge. So cryptocurrency is definitely growing. Ripple is a digital asset for payments. They've been around for a while. You can check out their use cases. You can check out the team. Uh, every single coin I'm, I'm, I'm gonna talk about today has a website. So another one we're gonna talk about is Lumen, which is XLM. Okay, we're gonna click on XLM on Bittrex and Lumen, there it is. Right now it is at 15 cents, great purchase price. I mean, we're talking pennies here. And then if you go to the internet and type in XLM Lumen, you will see who built it and the team and the technology and how it works. So what I would recommend to you is anytime you're curious what a coin is or what it does or, you know, about the coin or about the team you want to just do some research i mean come on you guys have the internet at your fingertips you can easily just type in what a coin is and what the platform does um, for example we're going to go into another one that i like it's called pay even though it's attached to a company called 10x so here's 10x pay token and right now it's at two dollars and 23 cents so that's, again, that's a good buy-in price. It was higher. You can see it was higher and now it went down. So you can easily buy them at a lower price. So this is a good time to buy pay, um, pay tokens. Now, if you go online and type in 10X pay, again, you can see exactly what the company does. And in this case, 10X is a company that lets you spend virtual currencies anytime, anywhere with a card, with a, with a debit card. These are going to be the new ways of kind of spending your your Bitcoin and your cryptocurrencies is by using a debit card instead of transferring the money or the crypto to your bank account. Now you can just spend it on, on a credit card, which is much easier. So 10X is one of them. And Monaco is another one that I actually just uh, submitted my application to get one of their cards. This is Monaco. Now, if you go on Bittrex and you type in MCO, Okay, we're gonna see how much this coin costs. So this one's <laughs> almost $20. Mm -hmm. All right, so, you know, that one back here in, in December 3rd, you can see it was uh, at, uh, you know, roughly 55,000 sats, satoshis. Right now it's double, it's uh, 114,000 sats. These are sats, uh, 0 0.00114700 Bitcoin. Um, it's 114,701 sats. Uh, so if say you wanted to buy 
um, this token or any other token. I'm going to go to pay because it's a little cheaper. Um, I, I do have some Bitcoin available in my account, not much because I've spent most of it on these altcoins. Uh, so what you'll see is how much I have here. You can, you can take uh, the last price available by clicking on this and hitting last, maxing out your tokens, and I can buy 28 pay tokens right now at the cost they are. Now, say I don't want to do that. Say instead, say I want to place a bid for you know, 8,000 sats, like much lower because you know these prices fluctuate, they go up and down. So what you do is you look at the price that the 24-hour low, 24-hour low is $1.94 or 11,900 sats. So we can also look down at the bids, the order book it's called. Now, you can go to really far down, you can go to the last one even. And you'll see the last one, somebody's trying to buy 1,740 pay tokens for, um, or 42,000 pay tokens for uh, 10,000 sats. So if you click on that, it should populate 10,000, there you go. And then you can decide how many you wanna buy. Say you wanna buy 100 of them. So now I can buy 100 of them if I had 0.01 Bitcoin, I don't. So you can even make this, you know, you can even remove a zero and add a zero and make it 0.001. Now that I can buy because I have 0.003. So this is an example of how you can place a bid for pay tokens. I can actually buy 391 of them at this rate, but that means it has to go all the way down to a thousand sats, which is highly unlikely. But if it does, and I place this bid, okay, which I can do right now. Okay, I place a buy order of 391 or of 391 units. Now, the fact that the matter is, um, it's probably not going to happen. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to and I'm going to close this open order because it's going to it's going to show up here in the open orders. Okay, so you see my open order here. I'm going to close that because chances are I'm not going to get that one. <laughs> so Monaco is like 10x pay and there are a bunch of other tokens I want to talk about. So people keep asking me about other ones. So let's go into Ardor. Okay, Ardor is, is a contender, I believe. I'm going to also type it in Google at the same time. Okay, well, it loads on Bittrex. Ardor right now is at a whopping 97 cents. I bought those at, I believe, 9 cents when I bought those. Um, you can go Ardor Coin. It's a scalable blockchain platform. Again, remember, every altcoin, alternative coin, cryptocurrency, that is not Bitcoin, Ethereum, or Litecoin, almost all are built on the Ethereum blockchain or the Ethereum technology platform, which is why Ethereum is jumping up in value. See, Ethereum, if there was no Ethereum with smart contracts, then Ardor and Ripple and all these other websites and, and platforms and cryptocurrencies, they just wouldn't be able to exist. They are building their technologies on top of Ethereum. So remember that. So Ardor is a platform for business scalable blockchain, for businesses, startups, banks, and governments, uh, people like Ardor. It, it has a use that is valuable to society. And that's what tells you, is this coin gonna jump up in value in a year, two years, four years, five years, 10 years? So let's go into another one. I'm gonna show you guys um, next. Everybody's been talking about next, at least in the forums and the chat rooms that I talk to, everyone's like next, next, next. So I definitely have some next. Um, let's see what the price is, 70 cents, not a bad buy-in price. Why is next so great? Type in next coin on Google. And we can do this all day long. Okay, but I'm only gonna do a couple more because this video will get too long if not. Your own data, control your world, decentralizing the future. Okay, so again, you wanna watch the video, look at the team, look at what they're doing, look at what this, this, this coin is all about, and then decide, should I buy a thousand of them for 69 cents a piece? And, and then when they go up to $5, $10, $1,000, I'll make a bunch of money. Okay, so there's a couple other ones I like. Um, and I guess the best way to show them to you, I guess I can go to the home page of Bittrex where the market shows you all of them. Um, there's Ripple, I like Next, I have Neo. Um, I like Ada right now. Ada is a really good one to buy. It's cheap and I definitely recommend buying it. Um, there's also people like Omi's Go. I bought a bunch of those. There's a couple that are not on the home page here. So let's look at them. Um, obviously everyone who knows me um, knows that I like uh, Sciacoin and Syscoin, so I'm gonna open both of these. Okay, here's Sycoin, it's a penny. You could buy you could buy like 100,000 of these for nothing, right? Definitely buy Sycoin. it's decentralized file storage, it's gonna be huge in a couple of years. Syscoin, 44 cents, another winner. It's going up and down and up and down, buy it in bulk, okay? Um, another one I would recommend would be Civiccoin. I'm gonna open up another one on this tab over here. We have uh, Arc. I don't know if I, 
showed you guys ARK yet. So let's open those up. We have Civic Coin. You can also look at the order books. If you click on order book, um, so I'm letting these load. They take a little while to load. Order book shows you who's buying and selling. Right now, as you see, ARK, uh, I'm sorry, Civic is a strong buy. People are buying it right now and they're not really selling it too much. Um, 35 cents a piece. Again, you can buy these in bulk. Um, ARC, let's look at the order book there. It's a, it's, a pretty high, it's a pretty high buy versus a small sell. It's at 444. Again, it's a little pricey, but it's under $5. A lot of people ask me, Jason, what cryptocurrencies are under $5? So these are the ones that are under $5. There's also um, XVG, okay, which I believe is Verge, and I have a bunch of these too. Um, Verge is probably still pretty cheap right now, I want to say. It's going up, it looks like. It's, it's a penny, guys. Come on. You know, take a hundred bucks, throw it in the Verge, and let it sit for a couple months, and you'll thank me later. Um, there's two that people are talking about um, on Binance that are not on Bittrex uh, that I am kind of on the fence about right now. I, I do own some IOTAs, okay, which is Internet of Things. And I'm also debating whether or not I should buy um, BitShares, BTS. They're at 21 cents right now. Um, BitShares is decentralized exchanges and IOTA is like the internet of things. So I'm kind of on the fence about BitShares. I'm thinking about putting in maybe $200 to buy a thousand of them right now. Um, but for IOTA, I have maybe 200 and something of those. So, but for the coins I've shown you today, I have thousands of them. And I think that you should do your research. I think you should go online and research each crypt cryptocurrency, each technology platform that the coin represents. Because remember, when you are using a cryptocurrency platform, you will be using the coin as payment on that platform. That's why there's a value. So when people say, well, there's no value to these cryptocurrencies, sorry, man, that's BS. They're full of crap. And there are value to these cryptocurrencies because you can use them to pay for things. Uh, there's a couple of ICOs out there that are, are in my opinion, going to be huge one day. But be careful, ICOs are mostly scams. So I see all these tutorials online and people posting videos talking about how to buy Bitcoin and how to buy Ethereum. I mean, that's pretty easy. Everyone at this point should know you can go to Coinbase.com, okay, and you can purchase uh, coins on Coinbase. Okay, it's pretty easy to go on here, make an account and purchase Bitcoin, Ethereum, or Litecoin. Um, my recommendation to you guys is to not buy Litecoin, buy Ethereum, okay? Litecoin is being pushed, hyped up way too much because people don't even realize what they're doing and they're pushing the price up. I would buy Ethereum. Sure, you can buy Bitcoin, but Ethereum is the way to go and all these altcoins. That's what I'm banking on. So go to Coinbase, okay? And then if you wanna send um, some of your coins, you will literally go to um, Bittrex and you'll go to your, I'm not gonna click on my wallet because I don't want you to see it, but if you click on your wallet, you can get a wallet address and you paste that right here where you hit send, you'll enter your, um, your, your Bittrex Bitcoin wallet address, it's a mouthful, in the recipient and, and here you'll add how much you wanna add, how much, you know, send max or, you know, you have to put an address in. And then you'll receive it in your Bittrex wallet and then you can exchange your Bitcoin for other altcoins. Everyone says to me, how do they do it? This is how you do it. You buy the Bitcoin or Ethereum on Coinbase, you transfer it to your wallet on Bittrex and then you can trade freely on Bittrex or Binance or some other exchange that you feel comfortable with. This is my tips for the, I guess the week or the holidays. Enjoy your holidays and the rest of 2017. Hopefully you make a ton of money in 2018. I plan on it.